What's up, TTC? Coming back at you here on a Tuesday night. Uh, previewing our little game we have with Mississippi State and Stark Vegas on Thursday night. Yep, SEC on a Thursday night. Uh, both teams have a short week. Uh, you know, I'm really not a fan of their Thursday night games, uh, especially SEC games when it gives you a short week, but both teams have a short week, so... We can't say one team has an advantage or disadvantage, but um, it is a road game, so I guess we are kind of at a small disadvantage because we had to travel. But um, uh, it's gonna be a good game. Mississippi State is a uh, you know, they're a different team than in years past. Uh, they're uh, you know they're I think Dan Nolan has them going in the right direction, uh, and uh, you know they're gonna be they're gonna be competing. Uh, you know for the Probably third or fourth, maybe sometimes number two in the SEC West. Given on if Alabama and LSU has off years, uh, and but it's just you know it's tough to win Mississippi State, but he's doing a good job. You know he uh, he went in there and uh, oh, I don't know if I heard a bug man's out on outside, but so um, you know it's hot outside today down here in Louisiana. Uh, it was cool. Weeks ago, but muggies are back. But get back to the game. Uh, yeah, it's me tough. Uh, LSU, I think, has you know they have more. They have the most. They have we have the better team all around. Uh, and Mississippi State does have some good, very good skill players. Their quarterback is good, and they got a good running back. And their offensive line is good. Uh, I don't think their defense is their defense is not as good as LSU. I guess they think LSU does have a far superior defense to Mississippi State. So. The key of the game is going to be LSU's offense. If they can pass the ball, I'm not worried about the running the ball because I think that we'll be able to run the ball pretty much against anybody we play, as long as we pass the ball effectively. Uh, you know, if we're one-dimensional. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be tough for us to win the ball game. But if we can pass the ball for at least two hundred and fifty a game, uh, yeah, it will be tough to beat. Uh, so I, that's that's one of my that's, I think the very key the two keys of the game of course turnovers is always a key to the game in any game turnovers uh, but I think LSU's ability to pass the ball is going to be a very very key stat if LSU comes out and they go for 110 yards or something like that you know we can very well lose this game if we become one dimensional if they load the box and you know it's gonna be tough we're gonna we just because, you know, that's what teams are going to do right now. They're going to load the box, put eight, nine, ten guys in the box, and make Jarrett Lee, make Jared Lee uh, beat you. That's what I would do if I was a defensive coordinator. But, um, no, my prediction for the game, I think it's, it's going to be a tight, it's going to be a close game throughout. Uh, I know some LSU fans, you know, on the message boards, but you know, the message boards, I mean, but anyway, uh, they think that we're going to, Kind of beat them by more than 10 points and all this, but I think it's going to be a lot closer than that. Uh, I'm predicting about 24 20. I'd be shocked if I'd be shocked if any team wins this game by more than seven. Uh, now, uh, Mississippi State, I don't I mean they're not going to score uh, that much. They're not going to score. I mean, they're not going to put 30 40 points against LSU defense like they did against Memphis and Auburn. Our defense is just better than those two defenses. So, um, if we get, like I said, if we score 25, 30 points, we're going to win the football game. Uh, because our defense is going to be able to control them. Um, but, uh, that's about it. Uh, for the game, I just think this is, it just boils down to LSU's offense. Uh, you know, if we can pass the ball, We'll win. If we can't, it's going to be a, we might lose. Uh, the other games this week coming in the SEC. Uh, what we got? I think we got Florida and Tennessee play. Uh, that's going to be a 2 30 game on CBS uh, in the swamp. Uh, we'll see we'll, we'll see what those two teams have. You know, they both played you know, cupcakes. I wouldn't pretty much. Uh, I mean, Cincinnati isn't 
much of a cupcake, but because um, they do have a legitimate offense. But I mean, they're not they're not a SEC team by far, so not even close. So it's, it's, that's a good barometer for those two teams to find out where they are as a you know it's a program for this year and if they can compete for the SEC East. Uh, you know, I think Florida means at home. You got like you got like Florida at home. Uh, I mean, he's got to. I mean, uh, other teams playing. I think Auburn's playing Clemson on the road. That's gonna be tough. But Auburn's got a good. Auburn's got a good offense. So it's gonna be interesting to see. I mean, he's on the road. That's tough. Uh, I'll pick Clemson. I and mean, just. Couple on a couple on the road. I know Clemson's Clemson, and they're not. You no, know, they've always been the team uh, that could do it, and they always had the preseason, but you know, they've never lived up, lived up to expectations. But I mean, and on the road uh, for Auburn, first road game of the year, I think they're going to just take a step down, and uh, especially offensively, and look for Clemson to win that one. Uh, I think Ole Miss plays Vanderbilt. I mean, Vanderbilt two and zero. <laughs> but no, uh, no. Just won that game. I mean, really? Mm-hmm. Shit. <laughs> Does it really matter who wins that game? But I'll pick Vanderbilt. Pick, I guess that's that's an upset. I don't know. I'll pick Vanderbilt. <clears throat> uh, and I think other other game is not an SEC game, but the big game is uh, Oklahoma and Florida State and Tallahassee. Uh, this is. Hopefully this is a good game. You know, it's a seven o'clock start. Hopefully it's a good game. Uh, hopefully, no, I like good games when they don't involve LSU. I like, I mean, when Florida State. I mean, not Florida State. What's the name? Uh, last week, uh, Notre Dame and Michigan. That was a good game. I like, I like it's a good game. I like, I like, I like watch good games. I'm not sure majority of people do. Uh, I mean, this this game can go either way. I mean, this game can this game can easily easily. Be a blowout for uh, Oklahoma. Uh, I mean, or it could be a, it could be a, a tight game. Uh, it all depends on. You now I, I don't know too much about the teams. I know Florida State is uh, they're better than what they have been. Uh, you know, they get rid about getting rid of Bowden was probably the best decision that they could make at that time because they weren't going to go any further than what they were. Um. So getting Jimbo Fisher uh, elevated the head coach was good. Uh, I think he's going to really, uh, I think he's going to bring them back to national promise. Promise. So, um, but um, for the game goes, I mean, you know, you got like Oklahoma. I mean, the number one team. Uh, I mean, I mean, they're just they're loaded everywhere. Uh, they're just they're just a loaded team right now. I think Florida State. I think they're. I think they're a few years away, maybe two or three years away, to competing against uh, you know a team like Oklahoma. But um, like I said, hopefully it's a good game. Hopefully it's not a, a blowout. But um, but I don't know. I'm trying to think of a prediction for the uh, score. I'm trying to damn close. Um, I mean. I know which for the game, but I think I think Oklahoma is going to be them a more than ten. Uh, I mean, they're going to uh, take the, take the crowd out early, get some turnovers, but um, that's about it. I think I can't think of any other teams playing. I'm sure I'm missing some, but that's about it. But uh, y'all have a good night, and um, I don't know if I'll make a video Friday after the game. Uh, having some uh, oral surgery tomorrow, so I don't know if I'll be able to, probably won't be able to talk, I'm getting, got to get some uh, gum scrapes, so that's, that's lovely, I don't know if any of y'all had that before, but not me, so, all I can say is go to the dentist, <laughs> I, I wouldn't, I, I waited nine years ago, and it's going to cost me dearly, so, I can say, go to the dentist, you don't want to, uh, have a bill. So, um, later.